In the history of the Catholic Church in Vietnam, the apparition of the Virgin Mary at La Vang in 1798 during King Canton's persecution of Catholicism is likely the most retold story. According to the legend, many fearful believers ran deep into the jungle of La Vang Quan Tri to escape persecution. They faithfully gathered around a banyan tree to pray and to recite the rosary every night. Suddenly, one night, they saw the apparition of a lady holding a child in her arms. They immediately recognized the Virgin Mary with baby Jesus. She encouraged them to be strong and told them to pick tree leaves and boil and drink them to be cured. Then she promised, I heard your cries. From this day on, prayers said in this spot will be heard and answered. The event of April 30, 1975, caused many Vietnamese to escape the country and begin a dangerous journey. Alone in the middle of the ocean, where human life is so fragile, many recall being saved miraculously by the Blessed Mother. Those who could not escape the country were sent to hard labor prison camps, where they faced horrible treatment. But they continued to pray to the Blessed Mother for strong faith to survive till the day they could return to their families. Wives whose husbands were imprisoned prayed to the Blessed Mother to have enough strength to take care of their children alone. Those families who were lucky enough to escape and settle in free countries prayed to the Blessed Mother to have stable lives, success for their children, and be soon reunited with family members from the homeland. Many more have shared their prayers were answered by our Blessed Mother. In their hearts, the Vietnamese, Catholics and non-Catholics alike, always feel grateful to the intercessions of Our Lady of La Vang. Statues and images of the Blessed Mother always remind them of everlasting motherly love, care, and support that we're promised. They wish to see the statue sat at a prestigious place where the whole world can see. In that place, the glorious image of the Blessed Mother will be a heritage that shines the way for future generations. At that location, faithful people from the four corners of the world can come together to offer thanks to our Blessed Mother, to acclaim her name, and to pray for Vietnam, their second homelands, and each other. Our Lady of La Vang Shrine will be situated in the large, prestigious Marian Court of Christ Cathedral. The center of the shrine will be the statue of Our Lady of La Vang, holding Christ the Child. The shrine will be before the Marian Garden, with exhibits of major events in the life of Our Blessed Mother, the Four Rosary Mysteries Prayer Area, and the Donor Recognition Wall. The shrine will feature an iconic, sacred, artistic design, integrating Vietnamese culture and the modern architectural style of the cathedral. Surrounding the shrine's location is a huge area that can accommodate as many as 30,000 people to celebrate Holy Mass or other events. After the completion of the shrine, the Diocesan Marian Day will be celebrated annually. Any contribution, large or small, is a sincere act of thanksgiving offered to the Blessed Mother and is the clearest acclamation of her name from both this generation and those to come.